Hi there, I'm Nina with Paint the Kitchen Red and today I'm going to show you how to make an Instant Pot Indian Chicken Curry. This is one of the first Instant Pot recipes I posted on my blog and the reason is it's one of my favorites. It comes from my mom. It's a recipe I grew up eating my whole life and I've been making it uh, for many years and I recently a few years ago adapted it to the Instant Pot and um, it's one of my most popular recipes, so I hope you get to try it out. Let's get started. Okay, so now here are the ingredients you're gonna need. Two cups of chopped onions, one tablespoon each of minced garlic and ginger, two tablespoons of tomato paste, three pounds of bone-in chicken thighs or drumsticks, half a cup of water or chicken broth, two cups of cubed potatoes cut into about one and a half inch cubes, and quarter cup of chopped cilantro. You'll also need three tablespoons of ghee or butter, a two inch piece of cinnamon stick, two bay leaves, half a teaspoon of cumin seeds, one and a half tablespoons of coriander, 3 fourths teaspoon turmeric, 3 fourths teaspoon of black pepper, 3 fourths teaspoon of Kashmiri chili powder, which is a less spicy chili powder, 1 and a half teaspoons of salt or to taste, and uh, 1 and a half teaspoons of garam masala. So go ahead and heat up the inner pot on saute mode until it's hot and add some ghee or butter, whichever you've chosen to use. Once the ghee is heated up, you add in the cumin seeds, the cinnamon stick, the bay leaves, and stir them all up until they start to sizzle. You don't wanna burn them, so just be careful. Okay, so now you're ready to add your onion, garlic, and ginger, and you're gonna saute them until they become this beautiful golden brown color. And this is gonna take a little bit of time. Now this is the key to a good chicken curry is you've gotta be patient. So just keep stirring frequently. And you might even need to deglaze the inner pot once in a while to make sure that nothing sticks to the bottom. And then once you have that rich brown color, you can add tomato paste mixed with a little bit of water and stir that up and let it incorporate into the onion mixture until it forms a, a nice rich paste. Now we're ready to add the spices, the coriander, turmeric, uh, black pepper, uh, chili powder, and salt, and stir them. Uh, you can press cancel if you need to, uh, if it gets too hot, and because it'll just cook in the residual heat and until the spices become nice and fragrant, about 30 seconds to a minute. And if you need to deglaze once in a while, you can do that. Add just a couple of drops of water and that allows you to um, prevent uh, anything from sticking to the bottom and for it to burn. So then once you're done with that, you can add the chicken and uh, you wanna get the spice paste uh, in all around the chicken. So just kind of stir it up in there and uh, then you're ready to add your water or your broth. Um, we wanna kind of move the chicken pieces around so that the water gets underneath the chicken. And uh, if you tend to get the burn error, then make sure you just add a little bit more water. And now you're gonna pressure cook for about uh, nine minutes and allow it to the pressure to release naturally or you can release the pressure using the quick release method. Okay, now we're gonna open the lid and add the potatoes. And we wanna push them down so that they're submerged in the liquid and they absorb the flavors of the curry. And now we close the lid again and let's pressure cook for about two to six minutes. It depends on how well cooked you want your potatoes. And we do a quick release of pressure, open the lid, and add a little bit of garam masala. 
and you stir that up until uh, it incorporates into the curry. The reason I add the garam masala after the cooking, after the pressure cooking, is uh, because I don't want to dull the flavors. Now I'm going to add some cashew butter to the uh, curry to thicken it. It's actually not cashew butter. Um, you can use cashew butter, but I use cashew paste, which is just uh, raw cashews ground up with some water to a really smooth paste and this is just a trick that my mom uh, uses to thicken up her curry. You could also use some coconut milk, you can use cream, um, any of these would work. Now be careful when you're stirring, you don't want to break the chicken up because it is going to be very tender. And then we heat it up on saute mode just to heat the cashew paste all the way through. And then garnish with some cilantro and you're ready to serve it. Well, that's it for chicken curry. I hope you enjoyed that video and uh, stick around for the next video.